Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let me just go ahead and explore a couple of interesting NPM packages which you should be using right away if you're using Next.js as a technology for building your projects. Now you all know Next.js, it's a server-side rendering framework for React, which allows you to build performant, nice looking pages at the same time having the power and flexibility of react with you if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow. so my first package of choice when using Next.js is package known as nukies this is a package which will help you manage cookies with Next.js. Now Next.js, when you deploy it on Vercel, at least it code damps architecture. The way we do it is that our backend is completely different from our frontend. That is our frontend is deployed on AWS in the form of Next.js, but the backend is deployed on AWS lambdas. So your frontend, our codedam.com website, communicates with the API layer under a different domain. But at the same time, if you want to use something like server-side rendering or SSR, you know, on the fly, then we also need support for cookies on the Next.js website. So this package can allow you to manage and work with cookies very simply by setting, getting, removing, you know, having custom cookies and so on. So if you're working with authentication and that you require use of some custom cookies and stuff to store data for the user, maybe that's for performing A-B testing, maybe that's for performing something else, doesn't matter. This is your go-to package. My second recommendation, the second package which you should have with Next.js is nProgress because a lot of Next.js websites don't have any loading indicators at all, right? So you want loading indicators for your website. For example, if you go to CodeDAM and if I click on this link, pay attention on the top bar, it goes very fast, but you'll be able to see if I load a server side rendered page, for example, this bar over here is the nProgress widget. Now, how do you add this to your own website? You install this package and you call these two things, these two start and done event on the following router events, which is whenever your route chain starts in Next.js, you call the start, on complete and on error, you call done. That's it. Third and the final plugin which I recommend you to use with Next.js is Next SEO. Now, Next SEO is a plugin which you think you might not need because Next.js already provides you with the head tag to insert anything in the head, but it becomes a lot more cumbersome and a lot more boring to manually manage the title and the meta tags and everything if you don't have a plugin like this. So Next SEO allows you to inject basically anything and everything you can think in terms of meta tags to the rich tags to the breadcrumbs thing to you know all sorts of languages or you know internationalization as well if you want to go down that route and it's just a important tag for you to have if you're thinking about google and seo so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you learned something new if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.